Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth. Rule well, teach well, much diligence, peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect, kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth, patiently waiting for the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai to return and to redeem us from the land of our captivity here in America. Known in the scriptures as Babylon the Great, and likewise from around the rest of the world, where Israel has been scattered as a whole. Shalom to all you brothers and sisters, you know, who are of the hopeful number, you know, patiently waiting, you know, waiting for Yahweh Shai's return, keeping the faith, you know, because this is our treasure, this is our stability, you know, not holding on to the law where we find where we found fought out with the most high. That's not gonna save us. What's gonna save us is our faith. Because what did uh, John, one of the disciples that Yahweh Shai loved, say in 1 John? He said, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Not by how many laws you kept, if you kept 613 laws to your best. But but our faith, our hope in Yahweh Shai that he will, he's going to, he has already redeemed us from our sins. Because it, it, it is evident. Because he rose again, right? And that walking in his walking in his example, doing what he required. Okay, uh, walking, walking, uh, walking, being examples, man. Being being examples of light, letting our light so shine before men. Because this is a dark world out here, but yet, in order for us to be saved from what's to come, you have men still holding on to the old way. When that is passed already, you know, here it is. All these things is about to go down, but yet we still got to sacrifice, man. You know, we still got to bring two turtle doves. We still got to go to the temple and all that. We still got to do that after the temple was already split and all this. Did not Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai say it is it's better to obey than to sacrifice? You know, so it's better to listen to the Most High than to sacrifice, man, okay, to be obedient, because that's one thing that Saul, Saul did, you know, when, when, when he, uh, when, when he lost his patience in waiting for, uh, Samuel, he, he, he wanted to sacrifice to get the answer to the, from the Most High, when, when it don't work like that, you know, you want to get your answers, you got to have faith in the Son, because keeping the law is not going to save us, man. It's not going to save us, man. The law is good. It's, a, it's an instructor of righteousness, like the scriptures say. But the most high, hey, we were found at fault. You know, we, we can't keep it, man. Therefore, our big, our Lord and Savior had to come and show us how to do the right thing, how to conquer these demons inside the body, man. You know? How to make our inner man better. Looking at our true intent. Because here it is. All right. We can't keep the law to the best of our ability. Therefore, we got to have faith, man. That's when faith kicks in. You know, but a, a man will have you to believe that you got to keep all 613 commandments. Like like this guy. I don't like to shine no light on this guy's name. But Sakari, man. You Alize, all these guys, men are the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushua is not dealing with none of them, none of them N I G G A Z. You know, because they're still, they haven't passed from from death unto life. Why? Because they're still, they're still um, boasting in the things that brought death, man. Okay, we we can't keep, hey bro, we can't. You ain't keeping all the laws, man. I don't care who you is. You ain't, you ain't in this day and age, right? In this captivity, you is not in, in, in the clad, the ten toes, right? We was not keeping all 613 commandments, man. You're a damn liar, man. And what did he, and what did Yahweh Shai say? He, he that says he have no sin is a liar and the truth is not in him, man. If you say you keep all the laws, right? And say you don't sin, you are a liar, man, and the truth is not in you. That's what the scriptures say. That's not what 
what uh, what us brothers believe to be true. No, that's what Yahweh by Shimei Shai have said. Okay. If you if if you if you thinking you perfect and you got it, the Most High is not dealing with you, man. If you think that you're gonna come in this thing and be a super duper Israelite, the Most High is not dealing with you, man. Because this thing is a walk of patience. Being reborn is a process. Okay, when you were, when you, when you were, when you came out of your mama's, when we all came out of our uh, mother's uh, womb, I use King King David as example. He said, he said I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. So from from the time that you gas air when you cut that umbilical cord, you were all you were you and from your mother's womb. I say to be better, better be said, you were already fashioned in sin. Your whole genetic makeup was was created to 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 to, to go off, man. That make that make nigga of the root. Okay, you were made, you were subject unto vanity, not willingly, but by the same who have subjected the same in hope. We be made subject unto hope. Why? Because the because the source up top, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has programmed us to sin, man. We don't want to sin. Don't get us wrong, hey man. We don't fucking we hate it when we go off, man. But do we go off? Yeah. But do we make do we do we live a life of a hab habit to sin? Hell no, man. We don't eat pork to the best of our ability. We keep beards on our faith. We wear our we wear our fringes and borders of blue, man. We rehearse the righteous laws, statutes, and commandments. But we don't have a life of habitable sin. That's what David, I mean, that's what that's what the apostle John meant. That 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 there is no that he that is of the most high, he, he sinneth not. Meaning he doesn't live a life of habitable sin because being reborn is a process, man. You're still in this flesh. You're still in this flesh, man. Don't don't get it twisted. You're still subject to going on. You still have a heart of desperately wicked. All right. King David said. I mean, King uh, Paul said. Pastor Paul said. He said. Um, he said. Oh, wretched man that I am, man. He said, the things that I want to do, I do not, but the things that I hate, that do I, man. You know, the negative thoughts you have, you don't want to think these thoughts, but they, they freaking happen, man. Thoughts about brothers, thoughts about all types of crazy shit, but that is the fight. You want to keep the faith? Battle those demons. And how do you combat those demons? By what Yahweh Shai said. He said, all things that come out of the man, these are the things that defile him. Thief, murdering, lying, and you know, all those things. But what cut but what stays in a man that doesn't defile him. But those things that are inside you, you combat those things by the Holy Spirit of what Yahweh Shah is baptizing you with through the Holy Spirit and with fire, man. The Holy Spirit is this word that's cleansing us. You know? Our righteousness is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right now. It's not. It's not on. It's not. It's not on holding on to the law anymore, man. You know, you can't be over righteous in this thing, man. But why shouldst thou destroy thyself, man? The Most High don't want no over righteous Israelites, man. He want a man that's after his heart. But in this time, all right, and in this predicament that that we in, you Jakes that are out there trying to be over righteous, the Most High is not looking at you, man. Like, period, man. Because he, he knows this situation that we're in. And if you think that you're going to be saved by keeping all 613 laws, you you ain't right, man. Because what about, what about the next brother that's driving just like you? They can't do it, but they have a sincere heart they really believe. You're the only, here it is, you're the only nigga in Israel, a few of y'all, keeping 613 commandments. Thinking the Most High is going to save you, man. You know, the scriptures say uh, we didn't receive this thing uh, uh, by the law, but by faith, man. You didn't you didn't get this thing uh, and, and just start walking in the law, man. You wasn't walking in the law before you heard the faith, man. You know what I'm saying? You were all you were dead to righteousness, man. You were super dead to righteousness, but now now that you're alive to righteousness, so so called, 
Cause some of y'all are sleepwalking, half dead, dead, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, clouds with no rain, like like Jew said. You know? Damn, I lost my train of thought, man. You know, but hey, you we ain't hey, the law is not hey, Yahweh Shai, that's that's the man. Like Moses said. Moses said that uh in Deuteronomy 17, um, a man uh, there shall there shall rise up uh, uh, another like me uh, uh, unto him thou shalt listen man not the law no more bro John said grace and truth came I mean the law came by Moses but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai what are these guys reading like for real like what are you guys reading grace can't grace came and grace and mercy came by Yahweh Shai it's about chasing mercy you niggas is chasing the the law. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, we, we don't we don't despise the law. But you guys ain't chasing mercy. You ain't chasing faith. You don't have any faith. You don't you don't hope in the most high's mercy. How like come on, like like if you kept all the laws, why do you need mercy? Here it is. King David talk about all the mercy he needed, the sure mercies of David, but a nigga. A nigga keeping 613 laws, he don't need no mercy. Cause he died, he got it already. <laughs> he got it already. That boy got it. Don't you can't tell that man nothing. A man like that, uh uh, uh judgment, uh, uh pride uh has clouded his judgment, man. Pride is like a big cloud when you're on a road. It's like when you're on a highway and it's just like a foggy and it's real cloudy, that's pride getting into your way your path man and a lot of a lot of guys are, are stuck in pride and pride is hateful before the most high man you have to be humble in this thing and, and acknowledge that you are a sinner what is sin transgression of the law we all sin we all go off bro we all make mistakes but the thing is we're not living a, a life of a habitual sin the things we can't keep bam that's when your shy comes in Yahweh Shai is like that, he's like that coupon. <laughs> Yahweh Shai is like that coupon for your for your light bill, man. You ain't got enough, you ain't got enough to pay. Well, I got I got my uh I got my cute I got my Yahweh Shai coupon. He, he'll pay it off. I, I don't have it all, but he'll pay it off for me, man. As he did, man. He's our redeemer, man. You fucking niggas out there. I hate you niggas, man. Y'all about to shoot me out shot gonna destroy you niggas, man. Like, for real, man. You guys ain't giving your Hawa Shai his homage. Okay, you ain't you ain't you ain't respecting him. That's why when he come, he gonna he gonna turn up on you niggas, man. And he gonna be and we gonna admire him. And we're gonna be we gonna admire your Hawa Shai. And he gonna admire us. Cause we admired him first, man. Well, I, I said it backwards, you know, he loved us first, you know, he for, who first loved us. So he, 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 he gonna reverence us too, man, just like we reverence him, because we the only ones down here doing this, trying, man, we really trying. He said, when I come, shall I find faith on earth? Am I gonna find men that's down there really trying? You know, they can't keep my law to a T, but they're trying to do the best that they can, man. That's what Yahweh Shai is looking for. Okay? Those that are trying to do their best and fearing him, hoping in his mercy. Yahweh Shai, look, King David said, um, the most high taking pleasure in them that fear him and them that hope in his mercy. We want mercy from Yahweh Shai. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, I, I, I have power to forgive sins and I, have, uh, and I can remit sins. Re remiss and remit sins, man. These things have I received of my father, man. So we want mercy from Yahweh Shai, man, because he the one that paid the tab, bro. He paid the tab. He paid the price. To, he paid the cost to be the, the effing boss, man. So respect that, man. Put some respect on his name. <laughs> like, like Birdman from years ago. Put some respect on my name. A lot of you. Y'all gonna put respect on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's name pretty soon. 
He gonna make you put respect on his name. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm exiting, brothers and sisters. I'ma just uh, close it on out there. And say, call all y'all by Shimmy Shai. Baha Shimra Kaha Kodash, double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Billstone. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect. Until the next one I say, Shalom.